Hey guys, and welcome back to Frontlines. When we last left off, we completed Anvil, which was, well, that was a bit of a spicy one, wasn't it? Uh, one man and his gun against the entire Red Star army. But we got there. Well, I say one man and his gun. Technically, there was a few of us, because we did die a few times. They had to warm up the cloning vats for that one. Anyway, next mission, Graveyard. Destroy enemy tanks, hey? Western Coalition tank columns clash with Red Star armor in an old Soviet space launch facility. We were traversing the Badlands in Kazakhstan when Coalition Command made a gutsy call to send troops north, across the Russian border. This was the day I heard about the murderous rioting back home. Deaths in the thousands. People grew tired of the years of red lines, water shortages, constant blackouts. The blackouts made nights in the cities a swarm of anarchy. Once night fell, you didn't dare leave your house without a death wish. Society had gotten so used to constant electricity that when it failed, the darkness drove people mad. You might think we'd start to adapt, but so far it had just kept getting worse. When I was a kid, there was an old book my grandfather read to me once. It was about some children that went mad when stranded on an island. It said that without a structured society, human beings would return to savagery. Well, it seems that the author was right, because society was crumbling all around us. And that day, in the Kazakhstan Badlands, all the rules of engagement crumbled right along with it. <laughs> Oof. So, no electric, eh? So I guess there's no solar panels or anything in this crazy alternate reality? Who knows? Anyway, a situational brief. Coalition disconnected from Xbox Live. Of course we've been disconnected from Xbox Live. Uh, Coalition 25th Armoured Columns uh, have been ordered to move towards the Russian border. Southern Red Star Command has become aware of our presence and heading. Travel with the Coalition armor columns towards Russia. Remain on high alert. Red Star activity detected in the area. Oh my. The deserts at the edge of Kazakhstan with the members of the Stray Dog Strike Force. <laughs> they are, as we speak, advancing north across the Russian border. In a move by Coalition Command that can only be considered as either gutsy. Oh, God. God. oh no, God, God, God damn it. God. Incoming! What? Run! What is it? Tactical nukes, oh, God damn it! Come on! Get into the tank! Oof. Tactical nukes, huh? How topical. Ah. Uh, this is the problem of the Xbox. If you have shitty, unreliable internet, like me. One second. Okay, and um, we're reconnected. Yeah, uh, if you have crap internet like me, um, the Xbox is actually a huge pain in the dick to deal with. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's go. Well, we've just been nuked. Yeah. Well, that's bad. Luckily, we are in nuke-proof tanks. Let's go to work on these guys, shall we? Oof. Incoming. Yeah, so those dirty Red Star Ruskies are using tactical nukes on us. Luckily, we have nuclear-proof tanks, which actually kind of is a thing. Um, you know, most tanks are... Uh, most modern tanks are sealed against nuclear radiation and fallout and chemical and biological things, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're kind of pushing pushing the limit with it here in this game, but ah, that hurt. So yeah, I'm getting told here about hitting the enemy armor in the rear, because that's their weak point. Well, thanks, genius. Whilst we get absolutely smashed. Good thing we have more redeployments. Now, I don't think our flare launch is going to protect us too much against 
uh, a tactical nuclear warhead anyway, but uh, hey, I mean, we can try, right? There we go. Now, one thing I do find kind of interesting is if the explosions happen quite far out, they seem to drop down to about 10 frames a second, which is interesting. But then I suppose back on the old 360 and PlayStation 3, you, you really had to watch those CPU cycles pretty tightly. Whoa, hi. You can quite see you there, douchebag. Now, ooh, we're going to get smoked again. We can, yeah, that's fine. That's not fine. Okay, I've never <laughs> had trouble with this part before. Hey, hey, and this is Let's Play as Curse, right? We've already had shitty internet. Now we're losing our tanks thanks to these uh, Ruskies. Well, they kind of uh, disillusioned the crew. Now usually, like if your vehicle is destroyed, you don't actually die, but that spoopy radiation is really kind of getting to us at the moment. Right, see if we can just back the fuck off, because this is our last tank. Come on, let's get some repairs. Good thing we've got that nano machine armor as well, that really does help. We truly are in the world of tomorrow here. Dude, situational awareness, man. You can't just block my movement like that. Two tanks remaining. Sweet. Let's pop some flares just because we can. Actually, we're going to drink coffee whilst we wait for our armor to come back. That's it. Just buff those uh, dents out. <laughs> Lovely. Good thing we don't have to go outside and repair. Because that would also be questionable with all this radiation. Alright, cool. Let's start slinging some Sabo at these guys. Come on, baby. Ooh, we've got two of them. Napping. Ooh, glanced off side armor there. Now, obviously, the, <laughs> the armor modeling in this game is not exactly fantastic. It, it, you know, we're not talking World of Tanks or War Thunder style accuracy here. And I'll be honest with you, like... It pretty much always takes three shells to knock out an enemy tank. Um, so, I don't know, man. Like, it doesn't seem to matter whether you hit them from the front or the rear. Maybe there's, like, some percentage difference, but whatever it is, it's not a huge amount. Ooh, good night. Oh, nope, he's ours. Yeah, gee, it'd be awful if they nuked us again, wouldn't it? Alright, let's get this Carxel gun going. So, one cool thing with the Red Star tanks is that on their... Whoa! I have no idea what happened to that TOW that was heading straight towards us there. Maybe we have some kind of active jamming system? I don't know. Anyway, let's take out these IFVs. Because their missiles really hurt. Now, what else we got here? Ooh, he's kind of like long shotting us. Well, that was a good hit, actually. Surprisingly good hit. Ah, we're just going to soak up that missile. It's fine. Ooh. Kind of got them coming in from all angles here. Now, you have to arc your shells. Obviously. But, uh kind of question how much you have to arc your shells. It's not exactly realistic, but hey, it's a video game, yo. I mean, we are engaging at, uh, what, 130 meters away? I mean, you know, most main guns on tanks these days are good for at least three kilometers or so. Right, there we go. Obviously, with all the computer-controlled fire control systems and yada yada yada. Right, let's back the F out of here. Because this is going badly. Right, we've still got a friend in the fight over there. Still got a couple of friends in the fight. Interesting. Usually on this difficulty your AI companions get eaten up pretty quickly. 
Wow, that hurt. Just glanced off the armor there. Just try and put a round down his throat. Probably could have used better gun sights on this thing, but you know, it's not bad. It's not bad, it does the job. Right, we don't want to get surrounded by these guys. That's right, you. Ooh, tactical nuke says what? Yep. <laughs> yep, so the Ruskies are nuking their own men. I mean, doesn't sound like something they would do, does it? Oh, Jesus. There we go. Take a wide turn there. Yeah, so the nukes really are flying in this mission. This was one of those big modern warfare shock moments, I suppose. Was it modern warfare? Where they, they you had the nuke go off? I can't remember now. I don't really know Call of Duty, to be honest. Shit, we need to get out of here. I mean, I played... What Call of Duty did I play? I played Call COD 2 when it first came out on the 360. Um, I, yeah, it was a launch game, and I remember because at the time I bought when I bought my 360, which was my first games console that I bought with my own money. Um, I bought Cameo, Call of Duty 2, and something else. I can't remember. Um, but Call of Duty 2 absolutely blew me away. I loved that game. Um, and then I think I played Call of Duty 3. Uh, played a bit of Call of Duty 4. Oh no. What was that other one that came out actually? The Russian one. Call of Duty 5? Well, it, would have been, it wasn't Call of Duty 5, was it? The one where you play as the Russians. I can't remember now. It's been so long, but I really enjoyed that one as well. Um, and then that was it. I kind of I got out with Call of Duty. And I've never been back to it, ever. Uh, well, that's not true. I did play Call of Duty World War 2, I believe it was, on the PlayStation 4. And, eh, I mean, <laughs> it was Call of Duty, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you really say about Call of Duty in these games. Uh, Call of Duty these days. Right, let's try and get a better position. I mean, if you opened a blank box that says generic World War II shooter, yeah, it's Call of Duty. You know, you've seen it all before, you've played it all before. Um, it's not bad. It's just, it is what it is, you know. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I noticed if I sit still, I'm dead. Trying not to sit still. Ooh, damn. Oh my god, we have no armor left. Will we get another redeployment? We do. Because we hit a checkpoint. Okay, this is this is pretty rough. But that's okay. That's why we have these redeployments. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm never going to Battlefield. Oh, and when I say I play Call of Duty as well, I mean I played the campaigns. Uh, I did play some of the multiplayer back in the day, but... Uh, as I've said before, I don't really give a shit about multiplayer. To be honest, I literally could not care less. I have no interest in multiplayer at all, whatsoever. Oh, you're n hey, you're dead, dude. Oh yeah, we have um, we've got artillery coming down on us now. That's the problem. I remember the artillery now. Right, let's keep moving. Yeah, the artillery is kind of the rub of this mission. And it hurts. That's the one thing that I never really got into Battlefield. I did play Battlefield 3. My mate wouldn't shut up about how fucking amazing it was. And uh, he, he, bless him, he tried to get me into the multiplayer. He did try. And I tried to get into the multiplayer myself. But I play like two or three matches and I'm fucking bored. I'm so bored. I just, for me personally, I, just, I don't get multiplayer. Playing the same 
a handful of maps over and over and over and over and over again with no story or nothing. It's just not my bag. I need story. I need a reason to play, you know? Oh, we're really low on the old armor there. Come on. Fire up those uh, armor generators, please. This is the sort of tank that we could have used in uh, Soviet Strike. That auto repairing armor. Would have been nice. Or oh, actually, they could have just given us one of those alligators. Was it the alligator? Or they call it the crocodile? I can't remember now. That hovercraft. That would have been pretty badass. Here. Oof. That reminds me. I still need to do Nuclear Strike, don't I? Is it Nuclear Strike or Soviet Strike? One of the playlists has completely disappeared. So, that needs to be sorted. Woof, he's gone. Smoked him. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's sneak around. Sneak, 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 sneak. Ooh, you little sausage. Come on, baby. Come on. Ooh, there we go. I don't know if we've got an auto loader in this thing or what. Right, we're hitting him in the rear armor. See how many it takes? One. Two. Yeah, so see? See what I mean? It's still. It still takes three shots. Right, anyway. Oof. Okay. Right, let's go. Yeah, I, I used to really be into uh, Metal Warner back in the day. Metal Warner 1 and 2. Um, I think I played, I played like Red Sun and stuff like that. Um, or Rising Sun. Back in the day. Um... But, yeah, it hasn't aged well. Um, middle of one, one and two have aged way better, I think. I actually played... Ooh, Sneaky Sausage hit me from behind. We're trying to. I played, yeah, Rising Sun uh, on the OG Xbox a couple of weeks ago. You up there with the rocket launcher. And I must admit, I was kind of playing it, and I was thinking... Is this really what I remember? It's so basic. It's such empty levels and you know, you have maybe two or three enemies on screen at once and it's just yeah, it's kind of interesting to go back to it. What is hitting me in the ass? I don't know. Maybe ooh, there is somebody behind here. Who's shooting rockets at me? Seriously. Because that is a bit of a no-no, I'm going to be honest. There's something back there, because our tanks are kind of aiming at it. Right, anyway, well, no time to worry about that. No time for tears. Let's just head and try and take some of these objectives. Now, as it said earlier, the uh, nuclear fallout from those nukes has magically disappeared now. Um, because fuck half-lifes, I guess. And all that kind of stuff. So, that's good. We can now get out and go alone on foot. Which is kind of useful here. Right, this is going to be harsh. Right, let's go. Hate to leave the tank behind, but... Let's try and sneak in and at least take out some of these guns. Oh, God. This is a... Ah, shit. You see, I've been playing the wrong... I've been playing Deathloop. <laughs> <laughs> the controls are totally different. Death League's pretty good, actually. It's, um... Uh, it's not the best game in the world or anything like that. It, it certainly... I, I did expect a little bit more from it, but it's alright. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of nonsense going on in that game. Okay, cool. Got some... Phenomenal weapons in it. Really fun weapons and mechanics. But it's also got a lot of stuff in it that's, uh, eh. Ooh, hello. They've got a little spicy turret there. I see. 
But you know, I guess I didn't pay 70 quid for it on PlayStation, did I? I got it free on Game Pass, so I can't complain. Oh, jeez. Woof. Right, yeah, here we go indeed. Sounds like we've got a Brit with us. Hopefully you brought some tea. Let's clear this bunker. Hello? Yes, of course. I was going to say if anyone's home, but there's always somebody home. Nobody's rolling out the welcome wagon either. No, nope, that's fine. I can make my own tea. If I have to. Oh, hello, sir. Taking your rocket launcher for a walk. I'll have none of that here. What else is going on in this place? Ooh. Well, this place is definitely a little bit broken. Ooh, Jesus. See that guy? He's a maniac. Pop popping off rockets at that sort of range. You know, the rocket probably wouldn't even have detonated, but <laughs> the blast back would have definitely done some damage. Okay. Yeah, most rockets uh, have, like, a, a minimum, or, yeah, minimum distance they need to travel before they detonate. You know, for user safety. But then this is Russian equipment, so who knows? Right, we're clear. Cool. Yes, and we've got a rocket launcher. Lovely. Can we have the rocket launcher, please? Thank you. Right. Um, now, we can run up and put a charge on that thing. Or we can just hit it with rockets until it dies. You can guess what we're going to do. There we go. And because we've completed the objective, these guys should start running away. But, shoot as many of them in the back as we can. It's war as hell. Hey, kid, no running. Ooh, look at the ball bearings on this guy. Trying to get a few cheeky shots at us. Yeah, the more we kill now, the more we'll have to, the less we'll have to deal with later. Give this game props for it. Oh God, look at them all. Look at that. Now that is some long-range killing. Let's just dump as many mags out as we can. Well, I remember when I played this um, way back when it first came out. I just assumed the... Uh, shit. Um, enemies were unlimited, but definitely are indeed limited. So killing every red bastard you see... Definitely pays off. Anywho, right, let's go find ourselves a tank. Ooh, hello. Hi, guys. I thought we was going to have to get a little bit nasty there. I'm trying to get the hell out of there, trust me. Not here for the goodness of my health. Well, I mean, I, actually, technically, it's not true. We were hiding in there for the goodness of our health. Ah, there it is. Good old faithful. Let's jump back into old painless here. Let's get ourselves a gunner. Gives us time to drink coffee then. This thing better have a kettle in it as well. Anybody want to jump in as a gunner? Sit anyone? Anyone at all? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no way of controlling the AI either. You like, you can't shout and tell them to get in or any silliness like that. Because, why would there be? Okay. Now, weirdly enough, some of these you can actually destroy. You can actually blast them to pieces and it looks pretty cool. And then other ones you can't destroy. That's what I mean. Like, the destruction system in this game, when it works, when it's in full effect, is actually pretty bloody impressive. But it's so inconsistent to what you can actually destroy. Very strange. It looks like this place is empty. Hostile armor inbound, you say. Well, um, please don't destroy my tank. I need that. Sweet. They've all gone off for a cup of tea. Worst well, bloody hope so, shall we? Makes our job easier, sunshine. All right, let's go take this one out of the rear. This one's quite a fight. They're really dug in. Here we go. 
this one is going to get a little bit nasty. Actually, I have a feeling this is one of those ones that you can. Ooh, incoming after, right? Yeah. Don't want none of that, son. I'm sure this is one that you can actually destroy. Maybe not, actually. It might be further on. Because it only takes... Oh, Jesus. All right. Calm down. The size of this guy's ball bearings. Well, he only took two shots, strangely. I guess there is some kind of, like, strange calculation on how damage is done. Whoa. Whoa. <coughs> Hello. Well, you died literally a hero, dude. All on your lonesome. Fighting the oppressors. I guess nobody could really have asked or expected him to do any more. Um, I fail to believe this little incline is uh, giving this tank trouble. Now this is going to be rough. Let's see if we can soften them up. I mean, we can blow stuff up in here, which is nice. Ooh. Spicy little gun turret there. No more. Alright, this is going to get spicy, guys. It has to be said, though, the gunplay is... For what it is, it is pretty solid. The limited weapons that you do get actually feel pretty good. And it's very satisfying. And there's no wussy amount of ammo being carried here either. Whoa. Oof. Let's try and take as many reds out as we can. Ooh, hello. Get fucked. Oof. Jeez. Can somebody get some fire on that guy? Alright, I'll do it. Don't worry. Jesus. I guess we didn't put enough fire on that guy. Would have been cool if we could have commanded our guys a little bit more. Like if we got a front lines too. Which is obviously implied by the ending, by the way. Without spoiling too much. Like literally set up for the next game. Dude. What is going on with my aiming there? Right, let's stick one of these smooth-ass charges on you. Luckily, these artillery pieces are not that smart. Literally trying to aim at me. Even though he can't. Yeah, your AI men will actually attack it, by the way, as well. With shotguns and rifles and things like that. It's kind of hilarious when you think about it. All right, let's go. I think everybody's falling back. Yep, there's a couple. Well, no tea for you, sunshine. Anybody getting in this time with me? Plenty of space. Got a whole extra seat. Anyone? No? Nobody want to get on board with a big gun? No? Really? Alright. Your loss, I suppose. Okay, let's keep pushing. Let's lead the way. Reminds me, actually, this level does remind me of an old PC game that I used to like, Armored Fist. I think it's called Armored Fist. That was a really cool game. Well, I say it's a really cool game. It's one of those games that I remember being awesome, but it's probably not held up that well, to be honest. Yeah, so we can't destroy any of this either. Even though, you'll see what I mean eventually. You definitely can destroy some of these. Right, this place is gonna be spicy. Whoa, they're getting really close with their artillery support. Nice little sign of desperation there. Scorched earth policy. Whoa. I've none of that, sir. 
Okay. This is a really dangerous point to go in. Oh, God. Right, we've got some friends. Behind the barrier? Yeah, no shit, dude. Instead of just calling them out, maybe you should actually like shoot them in the face. Just a suggestion. What do I know? Ooh. Oh, God. Whoa, what? I think we got rocketed. Which is pretty rude, to be honest. Notice how we can only have the assault or the um, uh, anti-armor soldier here, which is really unfortunate. They're very stingy with the classes. Like, this would be a wicked, wicked example here to use the uh, the assault guys. Is it the assault? You know, the heavy machine gun. But no, we don't get it. Like I said, I think there's only like actually two missions where we're allowed to use that for some reason. Alright boys, let's break in. Sniper Joe's at the top. Or should I say Sniper Ivan? He's done. Let's try and get into the fortifications. Ooh! Ow. That hurt. Somebody literally landed a shell in my back pocket. Not the best place for it to go, to be honest. I feel rather in my back pocket than my my head, I suppose. Is it you? Stinking little Ivan. Probably. Right, let's go. Keep pushing. Ooh. What do we have here? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Tiger Claw. I think we'll hold on to that. Alright. Oh, God. Do a bit of a hostile invasion. Boarding action. Oh, hey. Hi. Please put that rocket launcher down. Ooh, and you, little sneaky little sod. Jeez. Rocket launchers around every bloody wall. Look, literally. See that little sly pepper there? And we have physics objects floating. Cool. You, did you just ask me if I'm actually going to shoot anyone this time? Pretty sure I've shot a few people by now. Ah. Whoa. Right, let's nuke him. Oh, that did not go very well, did it? That did not go very well at all. There is a bucket of ammo here. I thought there was. Alright, let's try and get as many frags on target as we can. I'm convinced that did a whole lot of much. Alright. You're done. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Two of these should do it. I do like those mobile artillery um, batteries. They are pretty cool. Third group is indeed very much dead. Right, let's go. Yeah, you're obsessed with them going off for a cup of tea, dude. Like, you know, it's possible. Do, Ru do Russians drink tea? I, I thought it was more of a vodka thing, but, you know, what do I know? Okay. Oof, one artillery piece left. Oh, I'm sure we can make short work of that. We've got a lot of tools to play with. Let's ride. Now, hopefully, my friends are going to catch up with me. Oh, yeah, there is a little base over here. It's got a few grunts in it. Nothing too much to write home about. Oh, God. Time we weren't here, I think. Let's 
let's see, I'm sure we can destroy this. Something. Yeah, something's weird going on with the destruction. I know we can destroy some of these. Oh, look, there we go. We can, like, destroy that one for some reason. So, out of all these fortifications in all of these areas, we can destroy one of them. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it's that inconsistent. And it's not even like the main one or anything, it's just like one random one on the side. So, eh, no idea. Please get some patching up done. Ah. We've got some more support anyway. Get a little bit more armor. Dudes, could you just stay up here please? Just for a second. Oh, nice. Nice little slap on the bum there for you. Come on. Oh, that was lucky as hell. Right, that'll do. Should give us a nice little foothold. Not convinced he knows what he's doing. Right, a little bit more armor, please. Just a shade. You know what? It's fine. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we're getting to the next objective. Don't you worry, sunshine. And then we'll go find you this pot of tea that you seem to be so passionate about. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Alright, there's a couple of them left, boys. Alright, let's go to work, shall we? You, sir, made a mistake. Oh, I say you made a mistake. Maybe not. Yeah. Again, the reason... The fact that these drones have to replenish their ammo is a bit weird. I don't know why drones have to... Um, reload. No idea. I also don't know if you can destroy this with the drone rockets. I guess you can. But the drone is going to be going down. Can we get another couple of hits on it? One more. Come on. And again. Yes. Ooh. I do like these little helicopter drones. They're pretty badass, actually. So, done and done. And that was that. Oh no, this is part two of the mission. Press B to switch between first and third person camera in a vehicle or drone. After achieving a target lock, I might cut this one off here because we're already on like 40 odd minutes. Hmm, I don't mind them running slightly over half an hour, but yeah. Right, I'm going to cut this one off here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, we're going to do the second half of... Wait, no. Were we on Graveyard? I can't remember what the levels are called now. Eh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, till next time, guys.